It's the first time I've actually been able to sail in just bodies, which is lovely. I'm just parking the boat. <laughs> We're Becca and Zach, a couple who recently, after years of dreaming, bought ourselves a beautiful 40-foot Colvick Victor sailboat. Life is short and the world is wide and there are so many lessons to be learned. Laughs shared, people met, adventures had, and nautical miles to be sailed. And this is our way of sharing it all with you. Welcome to the Tailey. Bloody doing it. <laughs> Last week, after catching ourselves on one of these things, we ended up in the beautiful anchorage of Muros. We wandered and explored this place for the week before having a spicy sail to Palmera, just south. However, with bins bought, floors varnished, and hikes hiked, it's time to move on to somewhere a little more tropical. I'm looking out for a crab pot, but it's so bloody cold. I've got loads of layers on and a hat. Wind's really picked up though, we didn't expect it, so we are sailing and it feels amazing. Uh, we're trying to dodge a lot of pots at the moment and fishermen. There's a whole load of smaller boats out here, and I think we've probably passed like, I don't know, like nine pots since we've started today, and we've only been going for like an hour or so, so. Yeah. It's a little bit outrageous since there's <laughs> many out yep. here. And apparently it's only gonna get worse towards Portugal, so Yeah, woo! Ugh, I hate I hate watching out for pots. I know. And it's gonna be nets in Portugal too. There's another one about oh, oh yeah, directly ahead of us. Yeah. So we have just had a complete change of plan. We were on our way to Bayona. We're waiting for a package there basically and we just checked the, sh the tracking and it's not there. We don't want to be paying for a marina if we don't really need to be there. And there's some beautiful anchorages around. It's meant to be really hot the next few days. So we really wanted to go on the islands but you have to have a permit for them. So we've actually just applied for a permit so fingers crossed we get it approved in the next few days. But we found a really beautiful one just around the corner. So we're actually heading there now. Uh, took a bit of a detour across uh, the shipping lane but it's really exciting though to be somewhere different and somewhere really pretty. Look at that beach, Zach. Oh, I'm so excited to explore this area. Yee! We had only sailed 25 nautical miles south, but we had seemed to have found paradise. The sun was shining, the water was blue, and after a quick check of the AIS, we'd be heading straight to the beach. We're about to go for a swim, but I'm just checking the AIS because we've seen this boat called China Blue for the last few weeks, just dotting around, and we've always seen it on our AIS. Atlantic, shining in. Let's turn that off. It's a British boat, and every time we said, we want to go say hi, and then they've left. So I'm just scouring the anchorage because there's two blue boats which look like China Blue, and I'm just <laughs> scouring the anchorage for them. There's one called Chocolate in the anchorage. There's one called Happy Hour. Oh, there's one that, which we've actually seen, it, we were in another anchorage with. Nemo, aww. Atlantic challenge? Of course, that's a good one. Okay, they're not here. Sad times, oh well. You win some, you lose some. I 
so we're back on board now and we we couldn't film or anything because it's a nudist beach and it's not just a topless nudist beach it's a full-on naked nudist beach <laughs> literally with maybe one person with clothes on we felt more out of place than, <laughs> than we would if we were naked so yeah we've come back to the boat and we've got a patreon catch-up call in a little bit which we're really looking forward to <laughs> so i just got the as we were coming out, there's a, like a little speedboat going past and the guy was fully naked driving it, which was just so funny. We might go back later and go for a little naked dip, but quite the experience. That wasn't on any of the Anchorage reviews, but when in Europe. <laughs> So it is such an exciting morning, well lunchtime, because our permit has been approved for the Sears Islands and this was all a bit last minute, spontaneous idea, but yesterday as we were cruising past we looked at them and thought oh my gosh they just look so lovely and we thought the permit took about two weeks to come through. Anyway we applied yesterday and we've been approved so we are just picking up anchor in a sec and we are going to head there and we are so looking forward to it. We've heard so many good things about the white sand beaches and amazing nature reserve islands so yeah very excited. Are you excited Zach? Very. So we're going to pick up and we're going to go there now. the first time actually we've been able to sail in just boardies, which is lovely. Yeah. We've just realised that this is the first island we're going to, so that's really exciting and it's a pretty good island at that being a nature reserve. Um, we're just looking now and picking our place where we're going to anchor and there's two ferries there at the moment. We did read about the reviews about the ferries and fishing boats, but they should be leaving um, by the evening, which is fine. And we've picked a place I think on the kind of far left of the anchorage. Seen that lobster pot, yeah. yeah. No, it looks absolutely beautiful, and it's a perfect temperature. I think it said it was about 27 degrees today, but with the sea breeze, it's a bit cooler. But it's a lovely temperature, we can't wait to go for a swim. It's still 11, I'm gonna go shallower, yeah. yeah. We're at 7.2. 7.2. Hello, Ivan. I'm good, I'm just parking the boat. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we're just dropping anchor. <laughs> That's very kind. Thank you so much. That's great. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Yeah, thank you, Rule. Bye. Pretty good, eh? We're on an island, Zach. Yeah. That phone call I took whilst anchoring would be the solution to the huge saga we were having with the package. But let's not think of that at the moment, as we had just arrived to the most incredible island. We are heading to shore. We got all the jobs we need to do this morning done, and now we are going to explore the beautiful islands just behind us. Zach is rowing because we are feeding the zen with not having an outboard on. And it's super close. And it's super close, so it's fine. Yeah. It's so nice not having to put the outboard on or have the loud noise. And it's lovely. It's nice anchoring shallow as well. We're slowly building up our confidence and kind of anchoring further in and it feels really good. Yeah, let's see what this island's about. We've got a little bit of squeak going on there. Hotel de Insects. That's cool.
So whilst we've been here in the Sears Islands, we've been working really hard on getting our website all set up and going. There's a link below in the video description. And we've also been working really hard on finally getting some t-shirts out. This is our Taley Tribe t-shirt. So we've got the little Taley Tribe writing there. And on the back, we've got our logo, which is actually the three sails of our boat. So we've got the Mizzen, the Genoa and the Main on there. So go ahead, go and check them out if you like them. It really helps support our channel and keep doing what we are doing. So one of our limiting factors is water. We really want to stay here for the next few days, but we are running very low on water. Well, we don't know how much we've got in that bottom tank because we can't tell how much is in our tanks. We've got the 150 and then we had four of these uh, 25 filled plus another 200 litre tank, which we're currently using. And I think we've probably got about anywhere from 50 litres to basically nothing. <laughs> so it's we have these jugs, which you filled up how long ago? It was, must have been a month ago at least. Yeah, three weeks, month ago. It was just after we got back from Turkey, so it's about a month ago now. Mm -hmm. And Zach's making me taste test them. So, yeah. Yeah. Wait, did you have um, sterilizing stuff in there or not? Was it just water? It's just water. Okay. Really, that yeah, amount? You'll be able to taste it. It's good or not. A bit more, please. It doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste good either. It's not new, is it? I don't think it will hurt us. Even if we just wash up and do... Even if we just have this as backup. Why don't we use these now? And then save our tanks for when we really need it for like water and stuff. Yeah, I think that's a better idea. I just watched these guys over here put up a big net. I know it's a livelihood, but they threw back maybe 50 dead fish and then about three big octopuses, like this big. This is a nature reserve. But yeah, I guess it's a different part of eating fish that you don't see normally. <laughs> speedy, speedy, speedy. Enjoying your evening walk. I am. To the other side of the island. Off we go. Off we go. This place is so cool. We've been cooped up today because we've had loads of admin to do and we're setting up some really exciting things. But it was just the whole admin day, so it's really nice now after dinner to finally come out and get up the boat. Get up the boat. Yeah, I keep hearing, you. I keep hearing you crack up there. It's nice how quiet it is now. Yeah, it's so quiet. There's, we... there's like no one in the campsite on the island at the moment, so I'm fairly sure we're pretty much the only people on the island. Yeah, and the boat. Weird. But yeah, we're just walking to the other side of the island now. Let's see what's there. What does it say? It basically says the water quality is excellent. Pretty cool. So it's like um, pollutants per 100 millilitres. Yeah. So pollutants per million, yeah, per million, million pollutants, I mean, cool. imagine. Zach has no lifeguards on duty. <laughs> Funny that. If there's any kids drowning within that like 30 meter bit there, I'm sorry, <laughs> can't see you because of the pole. Really? This is such a beautiful beach. I found this on the beach, so we're going to take it home and bin it. Because it does not belong in a nature reserve. Oh gosh, Zach. Zach also doesn't belong in a nature reserve. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> look how happy you look with yourself. That's funny. But yeah, beautiful beaches. Really would recommend coming here. Thanks for joining us in paradise this week. Next time, we have to drag ourselves away from these islands in order to pick up an exciting package in Bayona, all whilst dodging the orcas. 